They told you time is real, that it flows like a river, ticks like a clock, and marches forward with no mercy. But what if that was a lie? In this episode, you'll discover that time may not exist at all, and what you're experiencing could be the greatest illusion ever designed. This is not just a theory, it's a truth hidden in quantum equations, ancient texts, and the depths of your own consciousness. You are watching Netraverse, watch this video till the end. It will challenge everything you believe about life and death. We're born into a world run by clocks. Our earliest memories are shaped by the ticking of time, racing through deadlines, celebrating birthdays, and watching time slip by. Every calendar date feels like a checkpoint, every second like a drop from an invisible faucet, always pulling us towards something we call the future. But here's the twist. This version of time, the one you live and die by, was a human invention. Let's go back in history. Timekeeping, the way we track every second of our lives. Yeah, it hasn't always been a thing. The ancient Egyptians, they used sundials. The Babylonians broke time into 60s because of their math system. The 24-hour day, that's a hand-me-down from ancient cultures. Weeks, totally made up. Seconds, straight up human invention. Then in 1656, Christian Huygens drops the first pendulum clock. Boom, we can now measure time precisely. As clocks took over, we started seeing time like gears ticking forward, always moving. That idea, it gave birth to what philosopher John McTaggart called the A theory of time, the belief that time flows like a one-way street, past, present, future. But that whole idea is falling apart. In nature, or at the tiniest, quantum, and biggest cosmic levels, time doesn't play by those rules. There's no universal now. Einstein wrecked the timeline in 1905 with special relativity. Two people moving at different speeds or near different gravities, they literally experience different nows. That whole, this moment is real feeling you have, it's a biological illusion. A vibe, not a fact. So here's the real question. If your entire experience of time is built on inventions and illusions, is time even real? Or are we just stuck in a concept we made up and forgot was fake? Einstein's idea was wild, but simple. Time isn't the same for everyone. It's relative. Imagine this, one person on Earth, another, zooming through space near the speed of light. For the traveler, a year passes, but on Earth, decades. That's time dilation. And yeah, it's real. In 1971, scientists flew atomic clocks on planes and compared them to clocks left on Earth. When the planes landed, the clocks didn't match. Time literally moved differently. Even GPS satellites deal with this. Their clocks, they tick faster than ours because they're farther from Earth's gravity. Without constant correction, GPS would be off by 10 kilometers a day. And gravity, it slows time down. In 2010, researchers put two atomic clocks just 33 centimeters apart, one slightly higher than the other. And guess what? The higher one ticked faster. That tiny height difference, it actually changed time. So, if time changes based on where you are, or how fast you're moving, then what even is real time? Answer, there isn't one. Time is relative to gravity, to speed, to motion. My now isn't your now. And that's not just some theory. It's the foundation of modern physics. So next time you check your watch, remember, you're not reading the truth. You're just reading your version of it. What if the past hasn't vanished? and the future already exists? What if every moment in time, from the birth of star to the day you were born, exists permanently in a grand cosmic structure? This is the essence of the block universe theory, also known as eternalism. According to this idea, the universe is not a flowing river of time, but a frozen landscape. Imagine the universe like a DVD, 
Every scene, past, present, and future, is already recorded. You, the observer, simply move frame by frame, moment by moment. This isn't science fiction, it's a legitimate interpretation of Einstein's theory of relativity. In the block universe, everything exists, always. The moment your parents met, the first human heartbeat, your final breath, they are all etched in the 4D space-time block. Brian Greene explains it in Fabric of the Cosmos. Just as we envision all of space as really being out there, we should envision all of time as really being out there too. If the future is as real as the past, can we change it? Or are we simply passengers along a fixed track, conscious observers scanning a predetermined film? Quantum mechanics, the most successful theory in modern science, is surprisingly silent about time. In fact, in when you look at the fundamental equations, like the Schrodinger equation, time isn't required the way you'd think. Julian Barber says time isn't real, the universe is just a collection of frozen nows, like snapshots, stuck in a cosmic photo album. You're not moving through time, you're vibing through preloaded frames, and quantum physics, even wilder. Entangled particles react instantly, no matter the distance, like they ghost time completely. Carlo Rovelli backs it up, saying time doesn't really exist. Let's hear a small clip of his lecture. Take two good clocks and I move them apart. I move one or I bring one higher and keep one lower and I wait a little bit and I move them together. If these are good enough clocks, they will indicate a different time. His take? Time is a reflection of our ignorance. Translation? The more we zoom in, the less time matters. So maybe time's just a human level illusion a trick of scale, not a rule of the universe. And if that's true, and then aging, death and decay, might just be how we perceive things, not how things actually are. So if physics doesn't require time, why do we feel it so vividly? Why do we experience time so personally, as joy, as boredom, as dread? The answer lies in your brain. Neuroscience reveals that time is a constructed experience, a simulation built from memory, anticipation, and rhythm. David Eagleman, a leading neuroscientist, discovered that during life-threatening moments. People often feel time slows down, but this isn't reality slowing. It's the brain going into hyper-awareness, encoding more detail, creating a denser memory. Experiments also show that people who are bored feel time drag, while those deeply engaged feel it fly. Yet the clock ticks the same either way. So what controls your sense of time? Not reality, not clocks, but attention and emotion. Your internal clock, managed by the brain's suprachiasmatic nucleus, responds to light, hormones, and even temperature. But it doesn't measure time as physics does. It only measures experiences. This means the future doesn't exist in the brain until it's imagined. The past doesn't exist unless remembered. Only the present, constructed in fleeting electrical signals, is truly alive. So ask yourself if your brain edits, compresses, and invents time. How real is it? Really, long before Einstein, long before quantum physics, there were civilizations that hinted at the illusion of time. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna declares, I am time, the destroyer of worlds. Yet simultaneously, he stands outside of time, an eternal presence. In Buddhism, time is not linear, but cyclical. Samsara, the wheel of life, is an endless loop of births, deaths, and rebirths. The Tao Te Ching speaks of the flow of the universe, not in seconds and minutes, but in rhythms and harmonies. It urges us to move with the flow, not against an imagined current. Australian Aboriginal dream time isn't history, it's a living dimension where past, present, and future 
coexist. Their stories are not told in order. They are all happening. Now, were these ancient perspectives primitive or profoundly ahead of their time? Perhaps time is not a scientific discovery. It's a cultural agreement and ancient minds simply saw beyond it. Now let's jump forward, way forward, to artificial intelligence. Unlike humans, it doesn't perceive time. It processes data. Sequence doesn't matter unless we tell it to care. Neural networks are trained using layers, not hours. For AI, a thousand years of literature can be compressed and processed in seconds. Quantum AI might even learn to handle events as non-linear probabilities, where time becomes irrelevant and outcomes are calculated across infinite variables. This opens a new question. If we are biological programs perceiving time, could a non-biological entity perceive no time at all? And if we simulate life with AI and that AI becomes sentient, will it experience time as we do? Or will it live in a permanent now outside memory, outside aging, outside fear. If time is a code, machines may be the first to debug it. Let's bring it all back. You're not a physicist. You're not a monk. You're someone who wakes up each day wondering, do I have enough time? Am I running out? Is it too late? But what if everything you fear about time is built on a lie? If time is not a river, but a mirror. If the future is not ahead of you, but within you. If the past never disappears, it just gets quieter. Then maybe, just maybe, you've never lost a second. Maybe you are eternal, not in body, not in thought, but in essence. And if that's true, then the only thing that matters is this. What are you doing with your now? Because now is the only place where reality can be changed, destiny can be shaped, and time can finally be mastered. This isn't just a video, it's your wake-up call. You are not late, you are right on time. The illusion of time is broken, and your real life starts now. So, is time real? To your body, yes. To your mind, perhaps, but to the universe, maybe not. If this video changed your perspective, then it did its job because your mind just bent the timeline of what you thought was reality. And that means you're already living outside time. If you're just waking up to truth, don't stop now. Explore the full series, Cosmic Mysteries Unveiled. Subscribe to Netroverse, and remember, we don't chase time, we rewrite it. Let me know if you'd like part two follow-up. How to use the truth about time to master your life, either a powerful self-help science crossover. Perfect for your next binge-worthy drop.